Hello. This is a video for um, partners, uh, spouses, husbands, wives who are living with people suffering these conditions. Um, it's really difficult when you have a person that you have been with for X amount of time, sometimes a very long time, sometimes a short time, and you <clears throat> uh, fell in love with that person that was, you know, uh, full of energy, full of beans, full of life and zest. Um, you know, that, that absolute, that person that nails everything, that just is brilliant at everything that he or she does. Um, but all of a sudden, you know, there comes the day or the time when they start to feel different, whether they start to notice a pain or a tension or a flickering in their eyes or whatever the symptom might be. Um, but in their natural nature, they will just push on through um, and they'll ignore it and they'll carry on and carry on and carry on. Um, because that's what these people do, right? They, they battle on, they keep going, they put on that brave face. But as the symptoms get stronger, eyes close down more, uh, the pain, the suffering, maybe they start noticing a change in the direction of uh, their head, which is really frightening, really, really frightening when you start to notice something that you're not in control of. Um, all of a sudden they start to not to be able to do everything that they used to be able to do. Um, they start to battle through their days a bit more. They uh, say they're okay, when actually they're not. They uh, continue to push on. They don't want help. Okay, they don't want help. They want to get on and do what they've always done. But they don't understand what's going on here. They don't understand what these symptoms are, what they mean. And eventually they will go to the doctors. They might get fobbed off. I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Maybe you need to go and see a physio. Maybe you need some acupuncture. Maybe you need a holiday, whatever. But then when they do finally get a referral to a neurologist, they end up getting diagnosed with a condition with no medical cure, whether it's blepharospasm or uh, cervical dystonia or fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue syndrome or whatever, focal hand dystonia. There are so many of these conditions. And when you're diagnosed with something that you're going to have for life and the only treatment out there is Botox injections, medication and a possible brain surgery. What? The shock that this person goes through. The video that they run in their minds of how their life is going to be. Children, grandchildren, that pretty cottage in the country when they're old and retired. It's all smashed to pieces when they get this diagnosis. So how do you cope with this? Being the person living with the person suffering with this. It's really hard. It all of a sudden becomes an environment where you don't know what to do. This person that has been so independent, so incredible in everything they do, is all of a sudden faltering and is fighting and is stuttering and is stumbling and slipping and falling. What do you do? Well, for those people that have been diagnosed with these conditions at work with me, the advice that I can give to uh, their partners, their husbands, their wives is to be patient. You know, your, your partner, your husband, your wife, is a person that is driven. They're 100 miles an hour. They're perfect at everything they do. They've got such high standards. You've probably felt that, right? Now, this same person is going to have to go through some changes. 
The only way you can get away from these conditions is by using your own natural resources. Anything that's out there medically will only ever act like a, a plaster or a band-aid, which will slowly peel off and everything is still there. The big DBS operation that's out there, well, it's designed for Parkinson's. It's designed for massive, massive tremors and shakes, um, which can indeed calm those shakes down, but it doesn't take away the condition. These conditions are created by emotional stress overload. These people that we live with are 100 miles an hour, and human beings can't do that. They can't sustain that. And when they have an extra level of stress on the top of that, it starts to tip them over their threshold. Their brain has to react by giving them a symptom. And these symptoms get diagnosed with no cure. So when your partner or your husband, your wife work with me, I will teach them how to get away from these conditions and it's going to involve change. The person that you've been with, the person you married is going to start to change. They're going to have to start to slow things down. Okay, so be patient with them. The last thing they need is for you to say, well, I think you should do this and I think you should do that. Okay, we must trust in them like you always have trusted in them. They know what they're doing. And once they understand that there are necessary changes to be able to get themselves better, then let them do that. No matter where your heart is pulling you, okay? If your heart is pulling you towards medication or have more Botox or do that operation, it will work, okay? Your partner, spouse knows what they're doing. You must trust their heart and their decision like you always have done beforehand. You've never questioned them ever. You never question them. But now we have to trust and let them find their own path to getting better. I will get people to uh, change their attitudes towards those that are negative out there because we want as much positivity in our lives, a, a better uh, emotional level within you is going to create better feeling. So when your partner um, that's suffering with this has a good day, it doesn't mean that they're going to be getting on and doing everything again. It doesn't mean that. It means that they're actually starting to enjoy the changes that they're putting into place. Okay, so the expectation that I give the people I work with is that you're going to get better. Not when. There's no time with this. So please, if you're saying, so when's this gonna happen? When are you gonna be better? How long is this gonna take? Please refrain from that. It's not helping, okay? When I work with people, I say, there is no time. Time's not important. It took me two years to get better. Blepharospasm, cervical dystonia, and focal hand dystonia. All gone, four years now. Okay, so just let them make their own decisions, find their own way through. Your job is just to be there. That's it. Just be there. Do not offer solutions. They don't want to hear it. Okay, the majority of people with these conditions are female. They don't want to hear solutions. Okay, they want you just to be there. Okay, give them the love that you signed up for in the first place. Okay, it's hard, hard journey. Okay, but at the end of the journey, you're going to get your partner, your wife, your husband back. And they're going to be better than what they were before this ever began. Okay, so be patient, trust them. Okay, let me see what else I've put down here. Um, help them when they ask you for help. That's important. When I, when I couldn't get my head up, okay, I couldn't get stuff out from the bottom cupboard. So I'd have to get my partner and say, look, can you, can you get that pan out from the cupboard? Because I can't do it. I couldn't do my children's zipper up because I, I, I couldn't. My hand-eye coordination was gone with my head pulling down. So I needed to get my partner to help me to do that. But when I could do stuff, I would do it. Okay, I would do it. So my partner would then back off and say, okay, you do it. If you say you can do it, go do it. Okay, we want you to get your lives back. So 
uh, there will be some experimentation. Can I do that yet? Not yet. Can I do it yet? Hey, I can, I did it, I did it. And whenever your partner who is suffering with this condition has a win, has their eyes open for a period of time, has their posture straighten up or the pain disappear and you see them smiling, okay? Celebrate that with them. Yes, here we go. Okay, be on the journey with them, right? Because you're amazing. You're an amazing support. We just need to support in the right way. Your partner suffering with this condition is always going to try and look like there's nothing wrong. Try and act like there's nothing wrong. That's what they do. Okay, so just again, recognize and sit back. Let them do what they need to do. Right. There's going to be periods of time when they need to go and do some work. I will set people uh, work to do with their brain to be able to create change. And this change takes time. And when they go away to do their piece of work, let them. Let them go. No time. When are you going to be back? How long is that going to take? No, 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 no. So if your partner says, I'm off to do some visualizations, or I'm off to do some work, or I'm off to you know, listen to an audio to relax and calm down, absolutely perfect. Let them go. No time. When you see them again, smile, welcome them back. I'm not teaching you guys to suck eggs. I'm just trying to help you with working with this condition, with living with someone who's got this. Because sometimes they look pretty normal. Okay? And the expectation is, should we go out? Should we go for a walk? Should we go for dinner? And it's like, uh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to sit here and enjoy the fact that I feel pretty good at the moment. Okay. All right. Um, they're doing enough work with themselves. There's, there's so much work going on with themselves. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot that's going on. There's a lot of work that we do together. Be a part of it, you know. Ask questions. Gain understanding. Um, listen to your partner, watch my videos, get involved, show interest, do not ignore the fact that this is happening, because it is happening, it's real, and we can't ignore it and paste over it like it's not happening, it is happening. So if your partner or your wife or husband invites you to watch a video that I have created, um, watch it, get interested, understand exactly what's happening here, so you can be a part of their journey away from it. Okay. Now I'm not saying that you're not doing this already. Um, I just know that some people struggle with it. So having an understanding is great, right? That helps all of us. And my partner, she, she struggled at times, but on the whole, she was really, really good. She knew that my brain created this. She knew my brain could take it away. She knew I had to do it. You know, the only person that's going to get your partner, your wife or your husband better is themselves, no one else. And it's when they take that responsibility to do it, they do start to change. Um, they might change their attitude a bit, they might change their, their direction, their language that they speak, the words they use, okay? And they might start to set new boundaries that you've not been used to because they have to set boundaries to be able to operate within that to get themselves better. So again, it's just trust, be patient, go with the flow. Listen to your partner. If your partner says, no, 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 that's stressing me out. You have to listen to that because these conditions are created by stress, stress, emotional overload. So if you're the sort of person that gets really cross at situations, shouts at the telly if there's football on or something, um, gets angry if you drop a pen or, or spill a drink, uh, this is uh, vibrating out onto your partner and immediately it makes symptoms stronger. Okay, so this is just awareness. Be aware of your behaviour around people suffering with these conditions because any sort of stress, well, when we're stressed, we tense up anyway, don't we? So when you've already got muscles that are tense, they double tense. Oh, that really hurts. Can you keep your voice down a bit, please? Okay, so calm Calm is important, right? If you're the 100 miles an hour person as well, as living with this person that's suffering this, 
Bring your levels down too. Come and match them instead of trying to get them to match you. You come down and match them. It's going to be so beneficial for you both. Okay, it's a journey for you both ultimately. Okay, so have patience, have trust in the person that you love. Okay, they know what they're doing. There is no time. So I thought you'd be better by now. Ah, no. The expectation is they're going to get better, but that's their expectation. Your job is to go with the flow, go with them. See how they are today. Not how their neck is, or their eyes are, or their hand is, or their foot is. See how they are. How are you doing today? Let them answer. When you say, uh, how's that neck doing? Oh, actually I was having a really good day until you asked me and now I've focused on it. So it's important that we just say, how are you? Just like we always have done before this ever happened. How are you doing? Okay, you're amazing, right? You are a, an incredible support and what the relationship you signed up to has changed at the moment, okay? And it's about rebalancing that to allow the change to happen, to come out the other end. Your relationship will be stronger at the end of it. Okay. If there are children involved, then I'm sorry. If the female is unwell, the guy, you're going to have to step up and do more. It is what it is. Yeah, in sickness and in health, right? It is what it is. It will rebalance. It will pay its dividends. Okay. All right. I really hope this has helped because I know that people living with people with these conditions is really hard and you don't know what to do. You don't understand what the hell is going on. Um, you don't understand how they feel. Sometimes they look completely normal, but they're in just absolute agony and exhausted for fighting to try and keep their eyes open or their head straight or to look normal in front of everyone else. And all they want to do is just crash down and just do nothing for a while. So your job is vital. Your job is vital and your support is amazing. Okay. But above all, trust your partner, husband, wife. Have faith in them. They know what they're doing. Okay. Okay, brilliant. If anyone living with someone with these conditions wants to have a chat to me, wants to talk stuff through, is struggling, then I'm here for that too. It's important that you don't feel left out because it's hard for you as well. And I get it, 100% I get it. Being through this condition and having my partner here with me and seeing the struggles that she went through as well, um, I get it. But you have a vital part to play as well. All right, so I'm here if anyone needs anything. Um, but this is just, just for you guys, I'm gonna put this on um, on the group and your partners will probably show you in the direction of this video and once you've watched it just go away and think if you want to email me a question or you want to book a time to chat to me about something let's do that that's fine okay I'm, I'm here to support the whole thing not just the person I'm working with okay all right I'll leave that there uh, thank you for listening I hope that's helped um, I'm not having to go anybody. I'm just trying to educate so that we can all learn to go in the right direction towards recovery. Okay, brilliant. Good. Thank you very much for listening.